Hello and welcome to the Proyaku Report, Volume 1, Episode 20, First Pitches. I'm Michael Westbay, your host. During yesterday's Bay Stars game, that is May 11th, 2013, uh, against the Giants in Niigata, the announcer at some point mentioned that the Bay Stars were going after a lot of Tomoyuki Sugano's first pitches. Hmm, you know, I didn't really notice that. I wondered if that was true. So, the first thing that I did was I brought up the box score. There's the Giants part. Uh, Bay Stars... Checking out the first inning, uh, Niger Morgan singled uh, on the second pitch. Uh, Uchimura uh, sacrificed on the third pitch. Arunami grounded out to second on the third pitch. Tony Blanco, ah, there we are. He singled to right, driving in the first run of the game on the first offering batting cleanup, and let's see, I wonder if Tony swung at any other first pitches. Uh, well, he grounded out to the pitcher on the at least the fourth pitch, struck out swinging, and struck out swinging, that's going to take a few pitches. Uh, Nori, he grounded out to second on at least the fourth pitch to end the first inning, and this is kind of monotonous. I don't think this is a very good way to check for first pitches. So I ran the numbers, created some raw data files, and this may look familiar to those of you who managed to hold on and uh, view the entire uh, D3 series. Um, let's just come up here to the top line, make it into a header, and really what we want here are the first pitches. So let's sort by pitch, and then grab second pitches on down through 11th pitches. Yeah, somebody had, uh fouled off quite a few and we'll just delete those so that we have the 29 uh, first pitches and if we check out Sugano's line in the box score he faced 29 batters so there we have them 29 first pitches now the next thing we want to do is break this down by result. So I'm going to categorize by result and you know this is kind of hard to s count so let's add a column. Call it count. Add a one there. Pull that all the way down and then in the summation row add count so now we have first pitches 12 of them were balls 11 of them were strikes and six balls were put into play so let's just tuck in balls and in play and let's take a closer look at strikes because really what i want to know is did the batters swing at the first strike so we'll categorize detail and add a count summation on that row as well. And two batters were swinging at the first pitch and missing for a strike. Seven batters had the first strike called and four batters, or no, two batters rather, uh, fouled the ball off. So we have seven strikes called. Well, that's certainly not good. Not looking promising for what the announcers had claimed. Um, two of the first pitches were swinging, and two of them were fouled off. 
Add the six balls in play, and you get 10 out of 29 first pitches swung at, or about 34.5%. But, you know, considering that 12 of those pitches were out of the strike zone, that's 10 out of 17 good pitches were swung at, or 59%. That's uh, not too bad. So, what came of those six balls in play? Uh, let's see, two of them were singles to right, there was a single to left, and there were two singles up the middle. Wow! Uh, one of the first pitches was put into play and was a sacrifice ground out to the pitcher. So... Hey, you know, all six of the balls put into play on the first pitch turned out to be beneficial to the Bay Stars. That looks like it's paid off. But uh, I'd like to go a little bit further here. Um, for example, what happened with the other ten batters that Sugano did not face? Did the base stars continue this aggressive first pitch swinging style? For that, let's pull in the other 10. Um, at bats, move this down a bit. Okay. And. Once again, we want the top line to be a header. We want to sort by the pitch number. And we want to delete second pitches and on. Okay. Now we've got, looks like, 10 batters and checking the box score. Yamaguchi through to seven, Nishimura through to three for the final three innings, and that adds up to ten players. So now let's just categorize result and right away we don't need any summation to see what's going on, I don't think. Uh, first pitches twice were balls. Throw those out. And the um, detail category, you can see that one was fouled off and the remaining seven were called strikes. So, you know, that's the same number of called first strikes that the first 29 batters faced. Granted, it's a very small sample size, but it there does appear to be a change in strategy between what the Bay Stars were doing against Sugano and what they were doing against the two Giants relievers. Looking at the results, the only base runner came on Takeshi Goto's uh, Furinige. Furinige is uh, swinging third strike and taking first. Um, it was a strikeout pass ball in this case. On full count with two outs. Gave the base stars a chance there in the eighth, but nothing came of it. So, in conclusion, five of the base stars' 11 hits against Sugano came on first pitches. That accounts for half of the 10 swings made on the first pitch, with swings at almost three-fifths of the first pitch strikes. The results were much better than the one swing in eight first pitch strikes against the relievers, with no desirable outcome. I'd say that the announcers did a good job noticing that. And now it's time for the Pocket Calendar. The interleague mini-season will be starting this Tuesday, May 14th, 
and it will run through Thursday, June 20th, at the latest. As John and Jim had mentioned in a previous podcast, the Central League owners are trying to reduce the number of interleague games, a move that I am personally against. There has been a suggestion to spread interleague out throughout the entire season, and, you know, I kind of like that idea. It would really help to relieve a lot of the monotony of playing the same five teams over and over through most of the season. I do hope that more forward-thinking minds will win out on this struggle. And speaking of Jim and John's podcast, be sure to tune in tomorrow, May 13th, as the duo will discuss an interview with Matt Clark of the Dragons, Tanishige's 2,000 Hits, and the Player of the Month Awards. I would like to add a disclaimer. These are the discussions currently being planned and what they actually talk about may differ. If you know of any upcoming pro yaku related events, would like me to report on a particular topic, or even perhaps participate in a future pro yaku report, I invite you to leave comments on either the Google Plus pro yaku community page or over at JapaneseBaseball.com, use the Bayside West Yokohama uh, blog, which are the two places that I post these videos that I will definitely see your comments. These videos can get shared far and wide, and I cannot guarantee that I will see comments posted at other places, although I do invite you to go ahead and share these videos with your friends who you think may enjoy discussing pro Yaku. You can also contact me via email to westbaystars, all one word, at markjapanesebaseball.com if you'd prefer to make arrangements in private. And with that, I submit to you this week's Pro Yaki Report. Thank you for joining me. Until next week, take care. <laughs>